morning. Uh, my name is Karen Bidlack. I'm a longtime resident of Fairport Harbor, FHS 1976 graduate and current school board member. I'd like to welcome everyone to the groundbreaking ceremony for the new K through 12 school construction. I'm excited to have you all assembled today for this historic event. Our current building has served us well over the past 100 years. She has educated our students, guided career paths, and opened minds to new and innovative ideas. She is a gathering spot for alumni, residents, teachers past and present, administration past and present, and will serve well for the next few years. The history of the school will continue and be a part of our lives. I like to think of the existing building as a book of knowledge that will carry over to new opportunities and growth. Where you stand now will no longer be the same, but another impression of your footsteps that have inspired those that have walked beside you, leaving a legacy of love. It is true it takes a village, but this school has taken a village and friends outside of the community to get us to this point. Special thanks to OFCC, Ohio Facility Construction Commission representatives, Dennis Kaplan, Helena Gonzalez, and Bill Pernasil. Special thanks to then design representatives, Chris Smith, Adam Paris, Ryan Caswell, and Cheryl Fisher. And special thanks to C.T. Taylor, construction manager at risk, representatives John Hitchcock, Matt Collier, Ryan Fink, Brian Jackson, and Steve Duhart. And my personal thanks to two ladies who collaborated with me on the groundbreaking ceremony and were instrumental in its success. Mrs. Cindy Clare and Mrs. Heidi Elmore. And I also want to thank the FHS band students directed by Chris Rusin for their wonderful performance today. At this time, I'd like to invite Pastor Tina Green and Pastoral Minister Steve Biro to the podium for the invocation and blessing. Thank you, Karen. I want to invite us to um, breathe together this morning as a reminder of our unity. We are a community. Let us inhale together and exhale. Join me in a spirit of prayer. Holy Presence, as we gather in this space to break ground for our new school, we thank you for all those whose passion, vision, and hard work have brought us to this moment. We thank you for the people of this community who have committed to fund and support the construction of this educational complex that our young people will have a new place to learn and grow. As work begins, bless those who will construct this school and safe, with safe working conditions. May the jobs created by this project sustain families in our community and beyond. Bless this ground that gives of itself to support this structure, the earth teeming with life. May this building live lightly on this earth, using resources sparingly and respectfully. Bless us all with the spirit of gratitude for the ability to embark on this sacred mission of educating students with hearts and minds for the common good, a mission of creating a space where students are nurtured and encouraged to grow into who they were created to be and where dreamers grow into doers. And God, give us grace, compassion, resilience, kindness, and an extra dose of patience as we work together to navigate all that the building process entails. In times of particular difficulty, help us to remember that we are all doing the best we can 
and that we belong to each other. Amen. Good morning. It is a great honor to be with all of you this morning. I'd like to begin with a reading from the book of Romans. For as in one body we have many parts, and all the parts do not have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually parts of one another, since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them for the greater good. As Paul writes in Romans, his words ring true centuries later. While we are all different, we come here this morning for a common goal, the future of our kids. We are all unique individuals and have many different gifts and talents. Today, moving forward, all the gifts of the individuals among us will be brought together for a common purpose. Our community has been given a great opportunity and it is up to us to help nurture and foster this opportunity. There will be many whose gifts will not be used that we may never know or see and others who will be at the forefront. This is an opportunity for all of us to recognize the gifts they have been with us, are with us, and whose gifts have not yet been used. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, shared his insights of what it means to be many parts in one body. Among us are administrators, educators, engineers, contractors, laborers, students, and so many more. While we have, all have different roles, we are part of the one body. One body with different functions to make one common goal come to fruition. While there may be times of different ideas, let us remember to discuss those differences with both respect, open hearts, and open ears. This new school is a unique opportunity for all of us to come together under one purpose, our kids. This school will foster and nurture the minds of our young people to be the best of the best. They will dig deep within themselves as they will be challenged and become the creative individuals that they were created for. Each of them will be different parts in one body. Let's remember as well that no matter the victories and also the disappointments, you, our young people, are watching us, and we'll see how we treat each other during this construction process. At this time, Pastor Green and I will bless the ground off to our left. Thank you. Beautiful words. At this time, I'd like to invite our current superintendent, Dr. Paolo, to the podium. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you, guys. You know, it's, it's funny, but over 100 years ago, 100 years, the construction of this building behind us began. And it, I'll tell you what, it, it, it served us well. It was the... But, it was the pride and joy of this village back then. It was the envy of other school districts throughout the region. And as I said, it has served us well. We're proud of our school. But what's exciting about today is we're going to break ground on a brand new school that you little guys over here are going to graduate from. And I am very, I'm really happy that we're going to be able to provide that opportunity to you. Now, this school that we're about to build, it was made possible through the support of the village, many entities throughout the village, and you'll meet some of them today. The mayor, for example, has been a great supporter all along. Dennis Kaplan, I know you're here somewhere from the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission. We've been working together 
with that commission for probably 10 years to bring this date to fruition. Um, this is made possible through, in part through our collaboration with the public library where members of our village will get to go and it'll be a new facility for them as well. So it isn't just only the students that are going to benefit from this. Um, but I want to tell you all, over my career, I've been influenced by many of the past leaders of this school district, from Bill Clark and Jerry Peterson and Ken Babb and Bill Brandhoover, who was not a superintendent, but he was the principal for many years here. And they've, I'm really thankful for the school they've, they, they, they've entrusted with me. And especially, I want to bring a special attention to R.A. Gregg, his descendants, his son and grandson are two people that heavily influenced me to become a, a superintendent in the first place. And then the guy that immediately preceded me, Joe Bergant, he was, he was my mentor, and he spoke of love for this district to me many times before I decided to uh, apply and was fortunate enough to be hired as the superintendent. And I'm telling you all this because there is a lineage, and just like we can trick students back a hundred years ago, we're sitting out where you guys are today, I'm going to hand this district off to a, a new superintendent, and he's going to learn to take care of it and love and respect you guys just like I have. And with that, I want to introduce you to your new superintendent, and that is Mr. Bill Billington. Come on up, Mr. Bill. Good morning. Sorry. Good morning. First, I want to say thank you to the board for allowing me to shepherd the district into this new and exciting endeavor as we you know, move forward with construction of a, of a brand new building. You know, that's going to benefit our community not only for the, the class sitting out here, but for generations. And that's, that's really our purpose in education, is to prepare our young, our young students and children to become, you know, full-functioning members of our community and go forth and prosper. So we are very excited about this new endeavor. We will have some bumps in the road as I steer the ship, uh, you know, with a construction project. We will get through them. We will weather that storm. Is that enough uh, ship <laughs> analogies, I hope? All right. Um, a little joke there. But I, I'm very excited for this opportunity, and I'm very excited to work with all of you and this, the community support to, to build a new building. It's a big endeavor. We, we will get through it, and it's going to be great for our community. So thank you. Again, thank you for all of you who have made this possible. This, this took a lot of work from everybody. Everybody. So again, a big round of applause for yourselves for making this happen. At this time, I'm going to turn this over to our board president, Ms. Marushak. Good morning. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, my distinguished guests, faculty members, parents, my fellow student alumni, and most importantly, all the students here. Today is a remarkable day in the history of our school as we gather here to celebrate the groundbreaking of our new academic facility. This moment marks the beginning of an exciting chapter that will shape the future of education for generations to come. As a graduate of Fairport Harding myself, along with a lot of members of my family, I'm deeply humbled to be part of this day. As we stand on this hallowed ground, it is important to reflect upon the journey that has brought us here. Our school has long been a symbol of knowledge growth, and community. It has nurtured young minds and prepared them to take on the challenges of the world. It has been a place where friendships have blossomed, ideas have flourished, and dreams have taken flight. But in the rapidly evolving world we live in, it is crucial that our educational institutions keep pace with the changing times. Our new academic facility represents a bold step towards embracing innovation, creativity, and progress. It will serve as a testament to our commitment to providing the best possible education and equipping our students with the skills they need to thrive in the 21st century. Within these walls, 
future inventors, artists, scientists, entrepreneurs, and leaders will be born. Our classrooms will become laboratories of imagination and discovery, fostering an environment that encourages critical thinking, collaboration, and problem solving. State-of-the-art technologies will be at our fingertips, enabling us to explore new frontiers of knowledge and unlock the full potential within each, each and every one of us. But a school is more than just brick and mortar. It's the people within it that truly bring it to life. Our dedicated teachers, staff, and administrators will continue to inspire and guide us on our educational journey. Together we will create a vibrant and inclusive community that celebrates diversity, encourages empathy, and nurtures the holistic development of every student. As we break ground today, let us also remember the responsibilities that come with this new beginning. Let us be custodians of this magnificent facility preserving its integrity and using it as a catalyst for positive change. Let us remember that education is not limited to the confines of these walls, but extends far beyond, encompassing the world around us. We must strive to make a difference, to be compassionate citizens, and to contribute to the betterment of society. In conclusion, Today's groundbreaking ceremony is not just about laying the foundation of a building. It symbolizes our commitment to building a brighter future for ourselves and generations to come. Let us embrace this moment with gratitude and enthusiasm, knowing that we have been given a tremendous opportunity to shape our destiny. Thank you all for being part of this momentous occasion. Together, let us forge ahead on this exciting journey of learning, growth, and endless possibilities. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite our McKinley students for their remarks, along with their principal, Mrs. Elmore, Willow Charlton Shear, and Matt Wang. Wow. My name is Willow, and I've been a student at McKinley since I was in kindergarten. I am Matt, and I've also gone to McKinley since I was in kindergarten. I am so grateful for all of the fun, funds that I had at McKinley. One of my best memories is the fundraisings that we did to attend camp. I love every second of fifth grade camp and every second that I've been at McKinley. I am so glad I chose to come to this school because of all the fun stuff that we do here. We did exhibition, beach day, learning about erosion, water balloon tosses, bounce houses, gaga ball pits, and we even got to be at home for a year, but still see everyone online. I can list off a lot of great things about this school. It's a farm park in Common Garden, assemblies, career days, seeing what other students are learning about. I've made so much growth at McKinley and learned so much. I have loved all the teachers I've had. They are all so nice and help us learn so much. I am excited about the new schools. I can't wait to see the new classroom, how the technology is growing, how modern it is going to look, and the sports what, that we will get to do. I'm hoping to keep all of the traditions from our own school and bring them with us to our new campus. Thank you for that history and inspiring words. At this time, I'd like to invite our high school principal, Mrs. Rumbarger, to the podium with students Hannah McCauley and Zachary Thress.
The Google definition of an archive is a collection of historical documents or records providing information about a place, institution, or group of people. But that's a bit vague, isn't it? What Google may be missing is the fact that historical records don't always look like sheets of parchment stored at town hall or at the museums, or documents loaded on the computers at the local library, but may also be buildings. There is no question that this school, this community, is an archive. There are many memories of performances, concerts, and Friday night lights, even legends and folklore gravitating around this school. The pictures in the halls, the trophy cases that decorate the hallways, and the names and dates of former performances that adorn the auditorium walls, dating back a number of years. That is what an archive is. After so many years, new records need to be made, along with new memories and new friends. The new school will purpose this, as did the old one for a trusty and reliable 100 years. It's an accomplishment to be a century year old. Nevertheless, records are never meant to be destroyed. They are set to be broken and remembered. This school building will never be forgotten. These memories have been set in stone and will be recalled countless times. There are many sad that the memories taken inside this place cannot be remembered as easily considering the original school will be gone. However, the spirit, and plus some, will remain. There is no doubt that this building, this community, has had its ups and downs. But the new school will mark a new beginning, a new hope, and a fresh perspective on how the future is yet to come. The new school will really shove for the name Skippers, as it shows the pride true Skippers hold for this small community. For the longest time, Fairport has been labeled as just Fairport by other students and even adults. But now with the literal turn of a century and the proof and show that of new school and dedication, now just Fairport will turn into that is Fairport. Good morning, skippers, community members, and dignitaries. My name is Zach Tress. I am a sophomore currently attending at Fairport Harding. Today I would like to talk about the past, but more importantly, what is to come. Fairport Harding in its current physical state is the foundation for this community's education. Since the original founding of the school over a hundred years ago, the students and teachers here have utilized the space provided to create opportunities to learn and grow for everyone. However, we as a learning community have grown beyond the needs of what this building can offer us. This new campus will bring us larger learning spaces, provide facilities for new courses, and create easier means to engage with students for better learning experiences. Overall, this new building will bring nothing but positives for our students, our teachers, our administrators, and other staff members. Thank you for those beautiful words. Appreciate it so much. At this time, I'd like to invite the mayor of Fairport Harbor, Timothy Manross, to the podium. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's a hard act to follow. Uh, you guys did a great job um, describing, you know, what your experience is here. As a public official, I don't know that I've ever felt more pride than I do right here, right now. I didn't expect to feel as, as, as emotional as I do right now either. I'm standing here before you as a proud son, proud husband, and a proud father. Uh, my mother, my uncle, my aunt, they all went through these hallowed halls. My wife graduated here, and both of my daughters did. I'm the only one that didn't, but thanks for having me regardless, guys. Um, but, you know, there's, there, there, there's three pillars here in this town that I think really sets Fairport Harbor apart. Uh, police and fire, and then this school district. We are one square mile. We have 
virtually zero industrial base. So we're a bedroom community, right? So that means that the residents foot the tax bill pretty much on their backs. Um, and there's things that we take great, great pride in. And like I said, this is one of them. Um, I'm thinking back and uh, Dominic said it, you know, this has been planned for over 10, 10, 10 years or better. Um, I remember the initial con conversations. I think the funding at that time might have been 70-30. I didn't think there was a good chance that one was going to go. Then we got to 80-20, felt a little bit better about it, but never in my wildest dreams that I believe we would get to a 93% state funded and 7% village funded to build a new school system. Just to put that into perspective for you folks, that's the cost of replacing the windows in our current buildings is what we're gonna, as residents, that we're gonna pay to have a new facility. What this town does better than any place that I know is we know how to pull together, we know how to spend money wisely, and we do it for the betterment of our community. Um, very few opportunities, I think, in life presents as historic. And today is absolutely a celebration of a historic moment. And I'd be remiss if we just kept thanking all the dignitaries here. It's the folks in front of us that we're talking to. It's the parents, it's the students, it's the teachers, it's the administrators of this school. This is what this community came together to support, to set the next hundred years in this village. And I can't state that enough, never been prouder. So I'll read my proclamation and turn it back over. So whereas the Fairport Harbor Exempted Village School District is a district grounded firmly in rich history and tradition, its educational program is structured to cultivate the whole child and meet the needs of a diverse population of students. It provides students with a personalized education with a close-knit family experience. Our mission statement is to ensure high, a high level of learning for every student through collaboration, innovation, and acceleration. And whereas Fairport Harbor Exempted Village School District is located within the blocks of Lake Erie and the Grand River, nestled in one square mile in the heart of our community, Fairport Harbor Exempted Village School District has been educating young minds since the first brick school building was built in 1876. The building on Vine Street opened September 1921. And whereas Fairport Harbor Exempted Village School Districts offers a wide range of electives and comprehensive courses of study, as well as a full range of extracurricular programs, including an early college program to provide students with a unique opportunity to take college courses along with their high school curriculum. They partner with Lakeland Community College, Lake Erie College, and Auburn Career Center. And whereas this groundbreaking will begin a journey to establish a new educational facility for pre-K to 12th grades, 12th grades. A bond levy was passed in November 2021 by our Fairport Harbor residents, which opened the door for 93% state funding with a 7% voter match. Now therefore be it proclaimed by me, the village of Fairport Harbor, County of Lakes, State of Ohio, as follows, that the village of Fairport Harbor does hereby recognize and honor the Fairport Harbor Exempted Village School District, its administration, and school board on this very special groundbreaking. In witness whereof I have set my hand and caused the seal of Fairport Harbor, Ohio, to be affixed this 26th day of May, 2023. Sorry, Karen. <laughs> Okay, at this time, I'd like to have our Lake County Commissioners, John Hammercheck, Lake County Commissioner Richard Regovich, and Lake County Commissioner John Plechnik to present the award on behalf of the county. Also joining us is our Lake County Treasurer Michael Zern. Sir, many of the words on this have already been spoken, and they're all true. We thank you, 
all in attendance, for welcoming us here to celebrate this moment with you. If I could say, for just a moment speaking from the heart, you guys are impressive. I say that as someone who grew up in Perry, my wife and I settled in Madison. We started and raised our family there. It's one thing to be known by your family, your friends, your community. But you're also known by your peers. Although sometimes you might hand up my peer, Just Fairport, you are respected by your peers and other communities. And the reason I say that is Fairport has always had a fine tradition of being small but mighty. In times of difficulty and distress, you come together as individuals, as a community, and everything in between. You see many people here from our faith community, through elected leaders, through appointed and business community. We once were you, and I'm speaking to the students here. You can achieve great things. You have a great foundation to build upon. And I thank you for this opportunity to speak from the heart. My colleagues, if you wish to speak, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Commissioner John Plechnik, but I'm also known as Professor John Plechnik. And when I look out at this crowd, I see the continuum of education. I see the many students that will go on to the trades, to college, to university, and to great futures. We talked about the hundred year history of the past building. Well, you're adding a very significant chapter to that history. And many people will ask you, were you the first ones to graduate from the new school, the new building? And you'll say, yes, this is your moment in Fairport Harbor history. Remember it and celebrate it because this is a huge investment on the part of our community in all of our future. So let me tell you, I'll be excited to see you in class someday and more excited to see the great things you do over the next hundred years. Thank you. I would just like to say congratulations to all of you on this momentous effort to have a building that's a hundred years old and for the history that that stands for and the great history of here in Fairport Harbor. I was fortunate enough to uh, go through just a few years ago a new high school in the district that I live in, Will Be East Lake, uh, the school that I graduated from and my kids went to. And I know how exciting it is. And once you have that new place, you will forever enjoy it, hopefully for another hundred years. This is just the symbol of what things are to come for Fairport. You, by a community, are going to raise up and I see great things on the future on the lakefront and just this is the start of it. So congratulations to all of you. Um, as the uh, treasurer for Lake County, I just uh, I had to come out here today and congratulate um, Fairport Harbor. I love bringing my family here. There is so much to offer you have throughout the throughout the year. It's such a well knit community of uh, of, of just uh, so much history, and I just want to say congratulations on your new school. And with sir, with that, sir, I have the distinct honor of presenting this to you. Thank you, and well done. Thank you so much. At this time, I'd like to invite school board member Justin Levine to the podium to present the award on behalf of the state of Ohio. All right. I have a citation here that is signed by uh, Matt Huffman, president of the Ohio Senate, Senator Nikki Antonio, minority leader, and Senator Jerry Serino, 18th Senatorial District. Uh, this is honoring the Fairport Harbor Exempted Village School District on its groundbreaking on behalf of the members of the Senate of the 135th General Assembly of Ohio. We are pleased to congratulate the Fairport Harbor Exempted Village School District on breaking ground for its new 
pre-kindergarten 12th grade campus on May 26, 2023. The Fairport Harbor Exempted Village School District is deserving of high praise for through, throughout the nearly a century and a half it has achieved an outstanding record of service to the community in a sincere effort to respond effectively to an array of local educational needs. This fine institution of learning, along with recommendation from the Ohio School Facilities Commission, has determined that constructing a new, modern, safe, state-of-the-art campus would be more cost-effective than renovating its current deteriorating structures. The district has addressed aging buildings that do not meet all state and federal accessibility codes by successfully passing a bond issue to commence construction on a new pre-kindergarten 12th grade campus. Over the years, the members of this closely knit scholastic community have championed ambitious standards and encouraged lofty goals while nurturing and enriching each other. Those associated with the Fairport Harbor Accepted Village School District have initiated and supported many edifying programs and have served area residents with vision and vigor, proving that they understand the importance of perpetuating the virtues of the past, even while embracing the ideals of the future. Thus, with great pleasure, we commend the Fairport Harbor Accepted Village School District on breaking ground for its new campus and extend best wishes for years to come. Okay, uh, at this time, I'd like to invite Ohio House Representative Daniel Troy to the podium to present the award for the House. Thank you, Karen. And before I present this uh, from the Ohio House, uh, first of all, uh, you know, I've had the honor of representing this community for, uh, I think, 22 of the last 25 years uh, uh, as either your county commissioner and last term as your state representative. Unfortunately, they moved me out of the district in the last redistricting, but I can always assure you that uh, I will always have the interest of this wonderful village and its citizens at heart and do whatever I can uh, to help you folks. Uh, you know, the history of this, this history of this particular school district, uh, I think is, 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 I think what's unique is that you have two buildings here that are named after two Ohioans who became, who rose to the highest office in our country, uh, President Harding and, and President McKinley. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've watched Fairport Harbor over the years having to reinvent itself because you used to have a very heavy industrial base, uh, and obviously, the tax base is 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 has basically dwindled uh, to where it becomes difficult uh, to support an independent school district. But I have to salute the citizens of Fairport. They've always stepped forward and said we want to maintain our independent Fairport Harbor local school district. And I certainly salute you for that. Now, back when I was in the legislature, my first step. Uh, one of the smartest things we did, or as some people may say, one of the few smart things you guys did, was uh, create the Ohio School Facilities Construction Commission. Uh, at the time, I was actually chairing the uh, budget section for primary and secondary education in the state of Ohio. And one of the problems, not only with operational funding, was with some of the facilities that our students in Ohio had to learn in. And I was witness to some of these around the state where you had students at their desk right next to the coal bin uh, that was being used to uh, basically uh, uh, fuel the the, the uh, coal-fired furnace that, that did the heating for that particular school district. And we realized that a lot of school districts, like Fairport, didn't really have the resources to change out and to modernize their facilities. So we created the Ohio School Facilities Construction Commission. I never thought I'd see the day where 93% would be going to one of the school districts in Lake County, but I certainly salute Fairport for getting that. What this means is that uh, you're able to improve the learning atmosphere for your students here with new modern facilities, and you're able to do it uh, by you folks being partners, but only having to step up with 7% of the cost, and I salute you for voting for the bond issue that made this possible uh, with the, with the, through the Ohio School Facilities Construction Commission. So, 
certainly it's, it's, it's a great day for this village that we're able to do this. I'm glad that the state of Ohio has a program that makes sense, that makes this possible in a district like Fairport Harbor. And I look forward to this building going up, these buildings going up, and a lot of us won't be around to see the results of the investment over the years that these buildings will create, but I think it's going to make Fairport Harbor a much better place, Lake County a much better place, and the state of Ohio a much better place. And I salute you for your efforts in making that possible in partnership with the state of Ohio. So at this time, I would like to present uh, to the new superintendent from the Ohio House of Representatives uh, a commendation acknowledging your groundbreaking for the new pre-K-12 building and uh, hopefully we'll be back here with one of these for the uh, uh, opening ceremonies uh, whenever that is uh, so I, I don't want to read the whole thing but it just says uh, you know it, it we, we, we are certain that this new pre-k-12 building which will replace Harding High and the McKinley Elementary Schools will have an integral part in helping area youth become capable and well-rounded individuals thus it's with genuine satisfaction that we applaud the Fairport Harbor exempted village school district on the groundbreaking for its new pre-K-12 building and look with optimism to its ongoing success. Congratulations, Superintendent. Thank you, Mr. Troy. Appreciate your words. Um, before I do closing remarks, uh, we are fortunate enough to have a representative from Then Design with us, and I'd like to ask Adam Parrish to come up to say a few comments. Thanks, Karen. I'm a little under the weather, so I'm going to keep this short. Um, we were selected uh, last year to work with the district, and uh, everything that's been said today has uh, been enlightening and what we've experienced, whether it be in community meetings or with the students and staff, uh, we're just really proud to be part of this team uh, as another Lake County business, uh, helping another Lake County school district uh, move forward. Uh, and we're excited for the things to come, uh, excited for the construction, and excited to be, again, a partner with Fairport and the school district. So thank you very much. I have, as I had mentioned earlier, it does take a village and then some. And I do want to also mention, once a skipper, always a skipper. So if you are not part of this community, you are now. I do want to acknowledge some of our dignitaries that are here that are helping to put through this entire process to make this happen. I want to thank Chief Coran, Dave Coran, Chief Bob Lloyd, our library director, Kara Cervelli, and of course our incoming superintendent, Mr. William Billington. And on behalf of the entire school board, I'm going to invite up to the podium our a vice pre board, school board vice president, Mr. Luxshaw. He will explain about the groundbreaking, groundbreaking portion of the ceremony. And I want you all to know you are all to, or are able to participate in the groundbreaking in some capacity. Mr. Luxshaw. Hello everybody, I'd like to thank you all for coming out today and being part of this ceremony. Now comes the fun part where we get to play in the dirt. 